Hi Aquarius, welcome to your almost daily love reading. This is Chelsea and I appreciate all of your love and support for subscribing to my channel. And at the end of your reading, I'll pull out more cards for some love and money advice if you're interested. And Aquarius, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. And today, Aquarius, we're going to find out how does your person currently feel about you. And also, um, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. All right, spirits and angels, please show me how does a curious person currently feel about them. Okay, just give me one moment. I need to pick up the, the cards on the floor. Okay, I'll take the first one. The open card. All right, so we've got the... King of Wands here in reverse, Aquarius. This could be somebody in your past that you could have been dealing with. They're sitting in your past position. So it does look like um, hmm, this is somebody either unstable um, or emotionally unstable. Could be a player energy as well, okay? I hate to say that, but yeah. Could be a player energy, somebody inconsistent. But somebody whom has been this way for a long time, but we'll see more, all right? Spirits, please show me more. Five of Pentacles is in reverse here. The person, I feel like they may want to return, okay? They don't want to feel left out in the cold anymore. They feel kind of, uh, they feel very abandoned or that they really miss you, okay? They feel like you're no longer interested in them or that you're not paying them any attention now. But they definitely miss you. All right. They show me more. Spirit. Eight of Cups is here. So they see you as walking away. Okay. They, again, they don't think that you are interested anymore and that you're walking away from this connection. Like sadly walking away, not happily. All right. Please show me more, Spirit. Seven of Swords here. Okay. This is another a sneaky character. This is why the King of uh, uh, Wands is in reverse here. I feel like maybe they know that you know that they've been very sneaky. Maybe they could have done something very um, decept deceptive or dishonest. Mm, it, does, it also looks like they may want to sneak their way back into your life. Okay, it does look like they they don't want to feel... They don't want to feel like they are losing you. All right, please show me more spirit. Got the temperance here, Korea. So your person feels that they want to make peace with you. They definitely want to restore the balance within your connection. They also feel like if both of you were to reconcile with each other this will restore their own balance okay they could have been imbalanced in the past it's an energy of like maybe they think that you could change them that's sort of an energy they show me more spirit like you're the only one who can change them <laughs> they show me more spirit got the tower here so they feel like something perhaps could have happened in the past and it was very shocking to you and that you are choosing to walk away from it all right this could also be them planning to surprise you okay with a comeback here with the temperance possibly wanting to reconcile with you let's see uh at the bottom of the deck is the knight of swords hmm they feel like you're angry with them this actually your energy occurs gemini libra I feel like you've already seen something very clearly, okay? Especially with the tower and the sun here. Um, and that you are very upset with them, with the Knight of Swords here, okay? This could also mean that maybe they want to communicate with you, okay? In regards to um, removing the swords off of your back with the Ten of Swords here in reverse. Perhaps they could have betrayed you in the past in some way, shape, or form here. And with the Queen of Wands, Okay, they actually see you as their true match, all right, because Queen of Wands and we've got the King of Wands here in reverse. Either or, um, doesn't matter the gender, okay, but they definitely are still very much attracted to you, and I do sense that 
they feel like they messed up, all right? Um, if they did not mess up, both of you would have been very perfect together, all right? They also feel like both of you are a good match um, when both of you are <laughs> uh, physically intimate with each other, all right? And also got the King of Cups here in reverse. Hmm. They feel like you are no longer giving them or investing your emotions towards them and this connection. Like, hmm. <laughs> they definitely sense that you are really upset with them. And it's like they are finally seeing your wrath, okay? Your wrath <laughs> with the tower here. Definitely feel that you are super angry with them. Hmm. Let's see one more card here. Six of Wands in reverse. Look, they they don't think you're paying attention to them anymore. Maybe they have fallen from grace because of whatever they did in the past. A very shady character here, okay? The Seven of Swords. All right, Aquarius, let's get you some advice here. Spirits, please show me some advice for Aquarius. Love advice for Aquarius. Four of Cups, okay? So show me more. Not a pentacle system reverse. Chris, um, Spirit is saying that your person is not loyal, okay? And that you shouldn't accept their cup of offer here with the four of cups. <laughs> not until they are 100% uh, changed, okay? This doesn't look like they have changed yet, all right? People can change, who knows? Two of Wands is in reverse. Spirit is saying to make a decision now to move on with the world. He'll close out the old chapter and start a new chapter. It looks like um, whatever karmic debt you have with this person, you know, it's it's done. It's finished. As in, you don't have to pay off uh, the, your karmic debt anymore. It's like you have suffered enough with this person. Whatever you experience with this person, the pain, the struggles, it's finished already. So... It's time to open, uh, close this old chapter and start a new chapter. Looks like more positive things are coming your way. Five Cups is in reverse. Yep. Um, there are actually better options for you with the Five of Cups in reverse. Better options for you that you may not notice it yet right now. Um, some of you, maybe you have. Queen of Cups in reverse, the Chariot, Nine of Cups in reverse, Ace of Cups, then, ugh. Okay, okay, so what I'm seeing here is Spirit is trying to tell you that this person is not ready yet. This person um, is still unstable, but you don't have to take my advice for it. You you know, it's it's your life and that uh, make your best judgment. Use your best judgment, all right? Your person is still sort of, um, can be still emotionally unavailable or emotionally unstable right now. I feel like they're not ready spirit saying that they are not ready and the two of swords spirit say, says think long and hard okay think long and hard before you return to this person or that if you want to accept them back because they they still haven't changed yet okay they want to i do sense that they do want to make peace with you but they haven't completely changed yet so something to be aware of and it looks like your suffering with them your struggles is is finished you don't have to continue suffering if you continue if you return to this person it looks like um you may go through the same cycle all over again all right let's get you some money advice spirits show me advice uh for a chris in terms of money finances career show me Of Cups in reverse, and uh, Aquarius, with the Five of Cups here. I feel like mm, your love life could be affecting your career, okay, or your money situation for some of you, okay. Spirit says the Hermit is in reverse. Whatever choice that you're making in terms of your career finances, make sure you you've done your groundwork, you've done your research, okay, and use your uh, be very wise at the. Uh, be very wise with the decision that you are going to make, okay? In terms of your uh, work, your career, and your finances, your money, all right? You could be disappointed with something here. But Spirit is saying um, there could be better opportunities for you as well. But most importantly, um, 
I feel like even with the Queen of Cups here, I feel like uh, a lot of you, maybe, yeah, your love life could be affecting your your finances, okay, or your career, or your your focus for some of you, all right? So Spirit is saying to come out of that mode, okay? Come out of that hermit mode. Don't let it affect you and make a very uh, wise decision. Be very wise in whatever decisions that you make in terms of your work and your finances. All right, Chris, this is your reading. Hope you liked it. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Currently, I am accepting personal reading requests. My information is in the description box below if you'd like to book me. Nothing else. Hope to see you tomorrow as I've been posting videos almost every single day lately. Take care, Chris. Bye.